So it is separate to any other psychological factors that, that we talk about and study in psychology. The will to meaning is something that we all seem to want to find. In fact, the older we, be, the older we get, the more it becomes a relevant thing to, to look for. So it, it is something that, that we, we innately want to find because here's the thing, it, it not only affects us mentally, but it actually affects us more, um, our mortality as well. So a meaning in life does two things, okay? First one, it affects the way we see our mortality. We know now, and studies have, in, in science have shown that having a strong meaning in life affects the way we look at death. We, people that have, say they have a strong definition of meaning, that they have a strong purpose in life, that have a clear why, have less fear of their death. Because that's the thing, we, 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 we get born on this earth and we want to know why. Like I said, it's an inborn thing to know why, okay? But what happens is once we understand that we are born, we automatically realize that we are going to die. That is what's called death anxiety. So the older we get, our mortality becomes more obvious. It becomes more in your face. And, and what happens then is we, we fear death. And what we now know is that people that have a strong purpose, that have a strong why, that have a personal meaning in life are less anxious about their mortality. That's one, okay? The, the other thing it does is that it gives pain and suffering a meaning. So if, if events just happen in our lives and our lives is full of, um, negative things, uh, traumatic things, bad things. What, what's the saying? The average person, the average human being will have seven to 10 stressful events happen in their life. And I'm talking about trauma and others. So, you know, I've had about eight now in, in my life and I'm nearing 50. So what meaning does is it, it looks at that event and by giving it meaning, it lessens the pain or the memory of the pain. It gives suffering something to lean onto. It gives suffering a crutch to say it isn't that bad because of whatever meaning you give it. Okay, so that's why meaning is so important. So you think about people today that are, you know, um, in pain and suffering, that they can't take life anymore, that they are... Uh, in a place where it's too much and just that enough. And that's because those people have lost definite or a definition of meaning in their life. So that's why it's so important to understand you need to have meaning because it will help you during the traumatic, stressful time and it will also help you live through and understand why you have a purpose in life. And here's the thing. Science have shown us that people who have a strong definition of personal meaning have a lack of, um, they, have, they tend to think less of concepts like suicide. They tend to have less loneliness as an idea. They tend to less uh, think about substance and abusing substance. They have less depressive symptoms. Symptoms? Symptoms? Sim symptoms and they are less inclined to get stressed. So people that have a lack of meaning tend to have more disorders, they tend to get more anxious, and then tend to have a lot more phobias. So that's the health factor of having a meaning, okay? So I'm gonna stop there and, and see what you guys are thinking so far. I see a few more people have joined. Uh, Kate, uh, Claire, hi Claire, how are you? Um, Tiff, hello, how are you going? Thanks for coming on board. Thumbs up if you are liking what you're hearing. Uh, do you have any questions? Please, um, I'll try to keep it as interactive as I can um, and you know, write any questions that you have on there. I know it takes a few minutes to uh, come on on my side, but if you do ask it, I will halt my talking and answer the question. So we get a bit of that uh, direct interaction. But 
I trust everyone understands we all will look for meaning. We will all find meaning in our life. And here's the catch. The meaning that you give your life will either lead you towards success or towards not success. And I don't want to give it the name, but uh, towards uh, concepts like, you know, mindset failure and, and all those things as well. So that's why it's so important. It is an inborn thing. We will give events in our life meaning. We will give our life meaning. And the way we perceive that will say or, or indicate to us how strong our success is going to be, how consistent our success is going to be. And that will affect our personal lives, our business lives, and relationships that we have with others and with ourselves as well. So I trust that means um, something for you now. Cool, thank you for the thumbs up, loving it. All right, so let's talk about where does meaning actually come from. Now, there are four types of meaning, okay? And um, I'm gonna talk about these and give you some examples of them as well. I'm just gonna end the conversation around the types of meaning that you get in your life, okay? So the first type of meaning is what we call the cosmic meaning. It's a, it's a name, it's a category. But it, if you think about what this cat category is, it's, it's a, the meaning of our being here, okay? So it, it's kind of like a look of the, if someone is out in the universe looking at us on this planet Earth and the, social, the solar system and the galaxy they're in. So it answers the question of everything. It, it is the meaning of everything. Why are we here? What is life all about? Uh, concepts of why am I created, uh, concepts of why are we created, um, what's the reason for all that creation. So that's the cosmic meaning. So it, it, it touches on concepts like religion, it touches concepts like spirituality um, and, and other parts of where we try to find an answer outside of us, okay? And it is important, this is a thing, Religion and all the concepts around religion is important for all human beings. The, the question of why am I here is something we all want an answer to. And the older we get, the definition of that answer is what holds back that fear, that anxiety towards death, towards our mortality. So, you know, I, I find it amusing now that I know this, about all these people that argue about whose religion is the best religion, uh, you know, whose God is the real God, you know, and then you chuck in people that don't believe in God. And then there, I was reading an article today about how the, um, some of these um, well-known people uh, now think that our world is a simulation, kind of like a, a sim program, and we're all just programs running the way we do. All of those beliefs are valid for that person. And this is a thing that really matters. And, and if more people can truly understand this, it will make the world just a little bit more peaceful life. No one person is going to be truly correct about the cosmic meaning of life until some eternal being comes down and says, no, this is the one solution or the one answer or the one meaning to why the universe and you are created, then everyone's meaning will be valid. And it is important that everyone sticks with that idea and you stick with your own. Look, I have you know, a meaning of, of, uh, of life and, and I can share that with you at another time, but it's long, it's involved and it's fun in some ways. But um, it is an understanding that we all try to find the answer to the meaning of my life, the universe, and everything. It is a normal thing to try and look for that, okay? So once we, we think about a cosmic meaning, all right, the other meaning we end up looking at then is, if we say, okay, so what is the meaning of, uh, of, of everything? Then the next question that comes into our heads is, why then am I here? And that's what we call the big meaning. This, the big meaning then is, well, I'm here now, so what is the purpose of my life? So why did life give me a place here on earth is one way of asking that question. A lot of people, okay, get to this place 
And, and this question can get quite troublesome because it's huge, it's big, okay? And, and if we don't have a clear meaning to it, we can try to go, okay, I, I don't know, it, it's too much. Or the, the answer that we give it, um, it, it, it kind of makes no sense. It's okay, all right? The, the search for meaning is a, is a, is a lifetime search. All right. So the, the thing about the big um, meaning or the big type of meaning is that we can, it changes because, you know, when I was younger, I thought, you know, the, 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 the point of uh, being born was just so I could, you know, find a family because I was an orphan. Um, now that I have my own family, I realize now that the big meaning for me or the purpose of my life is to help others, is to inspire others so that they can find uh, meaning and fulfillment in their life. So that's the, that's the reason why I exist, and I truly and deeply believe that to be true. Okay? Um, Kate, oh, I'm going to stop because there was some text here. Um, Kate, how did you find your meaning? Good question. <laughs> so as you, as you know, um, that's part of the, 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 the idea is that you, you, get the mean, you get the cosmic and you get the big meaning um, and you, you try and work out all the events that have happened in your past, okay? And you work out that those events give you the meaning, all right? And, and the secret is not to delve too hard into it and to just let it come to you. And, and the way that you work it out is your own personal way. And that's a really vague way of explaining, okay? But the understanding is that, the, understand that you will have a quest to find the answer to why we're here. And then your next quest, okay, will be to go, now that I'm here, what's the purpose of me being here? That's what we, that's what we need to answer at the same time, okay? So these two types of meaning gives us the concept of meaning of life. All right. So this, to the question of the meaning of life has been a question that has been thrown around as a philosophical question from days of the Greek thinkers, uh, Socrates, Aristotle, when they were having their conversations, um, to the Asians, the uh, Confucius, Lao Tzu. They were all thinking about what is the meaning of life and why is life here on earth? Okay, and that, that's the first one. So it is normal for us to be here, okay? And you can, we can discuss philosophical questions for, you know, for years and years because, like I said, until somebody comes along and says, here's the real reason why you're here, definitively, then every thought, every idea is valid, all right? Let, let me just say this one thing, okay? Every thought and every idea of meaning in your life is valid. It's only, and this is my truth, it's only when you try to impose those beliefs on somebody else and make them want to believe it that your beliefs are no longer valid. That's my th truth, by the way. So take whatever. That's, that's my way of um, saying to religious people, you can believe whatever you want to believe. I believe that you believe it, but you don't have to make me believe it, okay? Because I'm going to find my own meaning. 